people here and all across the country are suddenly paying a lot more for some of their medications. Generic drugs that are supposed to be safe, effective, and affordable. And as Dr. Malika Marshall explains, in some cases, prices are going up so much it could actually put patients at risk. Then I have rheumatoid arthritis, so we take some of those. That's just one of 16 medications Ron Nader of Chelmsford takes every day for a number of health issues. Diabetes, heart disease, high blood pressure. All that makes it impossible for him to work full time, so he's happy he has Medicaid to pay for those meds. And I'm grateful for that. But even with that help, Ron may have trouble covering the cost of his medications because of a recent price spike in several widely used generics. And it created a terrible situation. Robert Skandarian is the owner of Skandarian's Pharmacy in Cambridge. He showed us one example, the antibiotic doxycycline used to treat Lyme disease. And we bought it in November 2012. It cost $29.02. The same stuff now costs $900. But antibiotics are usually only taken for a short time. The real problem comes with long-term use drugs that have also seen price spikes. This is a blood thinner. Like the blood thinner warfarin, which is on Ron's list. And digoxin a drug taken by millions with heart disease. I think most of us are shocked that a pill that's been around for decades suddenly would have an increase in the price. Um, and it's unclear why. And drug manufacturers are not in a hurry to explain. We reached out to one of the manufacturers of both doxycycline and digoxin. The company never returned our calls. But Skandarian says the reason is simple. Because they can. Who's to stop them? It's unregulated. Many patients with private insurance have not yet felt the brunt of the increases, but experts agree that won't last. Ultimately, it's going to cost everybody more money. Medicare and Medicaid patients could feel it much sooner because of coverage limits that leave them paying more out of pocket at the end of the year. And for Ron, that means a tough choice. So I just skip it and don't use the medications. As you can imagine, someone who has a sudden change in the medications without the physician knowing uh, can be very dangerous. Doctors say if you're having trouble affording medications for any reason, let them know. There are often cheaper alternatives that can work just as well. I'm Dr. Malika Marshall, WBZ News.